The numbers are gigantic. Since the global financial crisis, the US Fed, the European Central Bank, the Bank of Japan and the Bank of England have printed money and bought assets worth $12 trillion. That's huge and unprecedented. Can we return monetary policy to something like normal, with interest rates closer to five rather than zero? And central bank balance sheets shrunk back to about three trillion dollars. The short answer is, not in the near future. The US Fed has come closest to the great unwind. It plans to shrink its balance sheet later this year. This will probably start in the autumn, with a monthly reduction in the assets held by the central bank of six billion dollars rising gradually to a maximum of $30 billion a month. Compared with the $4.5 trillion it holds, this is just dipping its toe in the water. No other major central bank is anywhere near. Those in the Eurozone and the Bank of Japan are still printing money and buying more assets. The Bank of England faces huge Brexit uncertainties. And all the while, interest rates will remain very low. Partly because ageing populations, low productivity growth and a savings glut have reduced the attractiveness of capital spending, lower interest rates are needed to balance desired savings and desired investment. Partly because public and private debt burdens have risen so far, borrowers will struggle to cope with more expensive money. So, monetary policy isn't going anywhere fast.